Earlier today, I gave my contractually required 90-day notice of resignation to the Board of Trustees of Michigan State University. I know very well from the outpouring of support that I've had from students, staff, faculty, shared governance, alumni donors, affinity groups, and others, that many of you will be profoundly disappointed by this decision. But I, like the Michigan State University Faculty Senate and associated students at Michigan State University, have lost confidence in the action of the current Board of Trustees, and I cannot, in good conscience, continue to serve this board as constituted. This was not an easy decision, because we as a university have come so far and accomplished so much these past three years. Together we came through what I hope history will record as the worst years of the COVID-19 pandemic. We continued our vital missions of education, research, and outreach while working to protect the health of our entire campus community with policies based on science and medical data that saved lives on our campus and beyond. Not only did we fulfill our missions, but we went further, using time during the pandemic to look towards the future by engaging the campus in developing three strategic plans one for the university as a whole, a second plan solely focused on diversity, equity, inclusion, and quite uniquely, but necessary given our past, an action-oriented plan focused on relationship violence and sexual misconduct. I hope these three plans take Michigan State University to a future where we successfully educate more students for meaningful and rewarding careers, attract and retain the world's best scholars, teachers, and support staff lead in discovery and creative activities that impact the whole of society, address disparities in health across this state and the world, stand at the forefront of institutional sustainability, and do it all in a safe, welcoming, and inclusive environment that allows everyone to meet their full potential at Michigan State University's locations worldwide. All of this has been made possible by the outstanding leadership team I have been fortunate enough to recruit or retain at Michigan State University. Their work ethic and commitment to the university is extraordinary, and I thank them. So our plans are already being implemented. We've doubled down on student success by investing in more advisors and developing more programs designed to address gaps in graduation rates between student groups. And we have tackled years of neglect of our intramural and club sports facilities by working with students to develop and fund the Spartan Greens Project and a new health and wellness center that will mark a new era for well-being on campus. The long-standing dream of many generations of Spartans for a multicultural center is on the verge of becoming reality. We set a new record for annual fundraising and booked the largest single gift in Michigan State University's history. We have opened remarkable new facilities, including the amazing facility for rare isotope beams. We saw a rise in the U.S. News & World Report rankings to our highest level in five years, fueled by 40 programs in the top 25. We have set new records for applications and yielded the largest and most diverse first-year class in our history. This just scratches the surface of what you, our exceptional faculty and dedicated staff, have accomplished. And most importantly, with the engagement and support of all Spartans, we made progress on having a safer and more inclusive campus based on a culture of empathy and accountability. We recommitted the university to incorporating DEI in everything we do and created the Office of Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer to guide the implementation of our DEI strategic plan. On the Title IX front, we continue fulfilling and going beyond our resolution agreements by implementing sweeping changes to how we handle relationship violence and sexual misconduct, and by providing the resources to become a leader in trauma-informed approaches to every component of our Title IX process. There is still much work to be done, but there is campus-wide commitment to pushing these vital efforts forward. All of this is to say that despite the current turmoil, the fundamentals of the university are very strong. Presidents are transient, boards change, but the faculty, staff, students, and alumni, and what they stand for is the heart and soul of the university. The actions of the campus over the past month have shown the world that Michigan State University will not accept micromanagement by board members of the operations of this great institution, and that we will hold individuals, no matter what their rank, accountable for their actions. I am so proud and so grateful to have had the chance to serve with you over the past three years. And I know that you will continue to uphold these principles as you move forward into a bright future. Spartans will.